As the years passed and the world plunged into another global conflict, Doug once again found himself at the forefront of history. For legendsoffaith.org, I'm Rob Cutter. In the heart of America, Doug was raised into a military family. He grew up surrounded by stories of valor and duty. From an early age, he showed promise, both in understanding and in physical skills. His childhood was filled with tales of adventure and discipline. His father was a decorated Union Army veteran of the Civil War, and his mother, Mary, hailed from a prominent Virginia family. At an early age, his father instilled in him the values of honor, courage, and perseverance. From a young age, Doug showed a keen interest in military life. He attended the United States Military Academy at West Point, where he excelled both academically and athletically, particularly in track and field. His determination and talents caught the attention of his peers and mentors. At the age of 32, Doug found himself representing the United States in the 1912 Olympics in Stockholm. He competed showcasing his agility, strength, and endurance. Fencing, shooting, swimming, running, and cross-country running. Doug emerged victorious, claiming the gold medal and etching his name into Olympic history. With the outbreak of war, he answered the call to serve his country. Rising through the ranks with a blend of strategic brilliance and fearless leadership, Doug became one of the Army's most promising officers. During World War I, he earned a reputation for his courage on the battlefield and his innovative tactics. His leadership in battle earned him numerous commendations and promotions. December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. As the years passed and the world plunged into another global conflict, Doug once again found himself at the forefront of history. During World War II, Doug was appointed Supreme Commander of the Allied Forces in the Pacific and trusted the daunting task of defeating the Axis powers. With his strategic brilliance and unwavering resolve, Doug led Allied forces to victory after victory. From the jungles to the beaches of the Philippines, he orchestrated daring campaigns that turned the tide of the war in the Pacific. But amidst the chaos of battle, Doug never forgot the lessons of his youth. Doug's faith influenced his decisions both on and off the battlefield. His unwavering commitment to his country and his fellow soldiers made him a legend in his own time. I stand on this rostrum with a sense of deep humility and great pride. General Douglas MacArthur is one of courage, leadership, and faith. From his humble beginnings in Arkansas to his triumphs on the world stage, he left an incredible mark on history, inspiring generations to come. For more stories like this and for ways to donate, visit us at legendsoffaith.org.